Hey everyone, my name is Caroline and I'm a family nurse practitioner and one of the MP instructors here at SMNP Reviews. In today's video, we'll dive into a couple of frequently seen hand and foot conditions that you may encounter as a primary care nurse practitioner. We will just be covering the basics today, but if you would like to explore this topic further, you should check out one of our review courses. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you can keep up with our latest videos. So let's first discuss carpal tunnel syndrome. This condition occurs when the median nerve, which runs through the carpal tunnel on the palm side of the wrist, is compressed. Due to this compression, patients can experience numbness, tingling, even burning in the wrist or hand. This can be very painful for patients and make it difficult to complete daily tasks with their hands. Although some cases of carpal tunnel syndrome have no specific cause, it can occur due to repetitive hand movements. There are two different assessment tests for this condition. Do you remember what they are called? Well, if you were thinking of Tennell sign and Phelan sign, you would absolutely be correct. I like to remember the Tennell sign by thinking of tapping the inner wrist because this test is performed by tapping over the median nerve to elicit symptoms. Tennell and tap both start with the letter T, which makes this easy to remember. The Phelan sign is performed by asking the patient to hold their hands in a reverse prayer position for about 60 seconds. Phelan and prayer both start with the letter P, which helps me to remember this sign. This position compresses the median nerve and can recreate symptoms. A positive test is indicated if the symptoms are recreated during these maneuvers. Now, treatment for this condition often begins with conservative measures such as wrist splinting at night and rest. When conservative management proves ineffective, an orthopedic specialist should be consulted. Physical therapy and steroid injections might be suggested, and if necessary, carpal tunnel release surgery could be an option to eliminate pressure on the median nerve. Early treatment is essential to prevent permanent nerve damage and loss of hand function. Let's move on to gout. So this is a type of arthritis that is very painful and it can attack many different joints, but it most often affects the big toe. Do you remember what causes gout? Well, gout is caused by the deposition of monosodium urate or MSU crystals in joints and is often associated with hyperuricemia, which is an elevated level of uric acid in the blood. The presence of these crystals in the joints can lead to pain and inflammation. Pain can be so severe that it hurts even when a sheet touches the affected individual's toe. There are many different factors that can contribute to this condition such as genetics, medications, and diet. Do you remember which type of diet can contribute to gout? You got it, a diet high in purines. And what might this include? Things like red meats, seafood, and even alcohol. Bonus question, what is the gold standard test to diagnose gout? Do you remember? That's right, a synovial fluid aspiration. But keep in mind that this is expensive and we can usually treat our patient based on the symptoms. So how is gout treated? Well, during a flare, a potent NSAID like indomethacin or indocin or corticosteroids can be used. Now, if the gout attack involves multiple joints, colchicine is often used. Do you remember what medication is used in the prevention of gout? That's right, allopurinol. This medication should not be initiated during an acute attack. However, if a patient is already on it when they have a gout attack, it's okay for them to continue to use the medication. This medication can lead to agranulocytosis, which is why we need to be sure to monitor a CBC if we have a patient on this medication. If you are interested in learning more about how to pass boards and other conditions involving the hands and feet, be sure to check out our review courses. If you're searching for a wonderful free community of students prepping for boards just like you, join our Facebook group. These will be linked in the description. And here are our references. 
Well, we hope that you all enjoyed this video. You all are so close to becoming real deal nurse practitioners and be sure to check out our other YouTube videos. We know that with the right preparation, you all can totally pass this exam. Until next time.